first experience with Perry Midland was um, back in, I think, 2007. I was a big fan of Breaking Benjamin. And so I was listening to an interview with the lead singer of that band. And he was talking about Fred Midland and how it was his favorite band at the time and how they were crazy live and they were amazing and how he was like that. So I went and checked him out on YouTube and I just became obsessed. Deep Ellum New Music Festival 2005. I saw them uh, at the Club Clearview outside stage. And the singer was like drooling and like animalistic behavior. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I saw this, the crowd was like in it and screaming and singing. I was like, these guys know what's up. This will be my first time seeing them. Uh, I got introduced to them by Benjamin uh, Burnley from Breaking Benjamin. I talked to him for a little bit and he told me that he found a new band called Fair to Midland. On a whim, I just decided, yeah, let's go see Fair to Midland concert. There was two in Arizona, one in Mesa, and one all the way down in Tucson, which is about two hour away drive. So I thought, Fuck it, let's just take a mini road trip to where I know nobody, my car could die, and let's go all the way down to Tucson. So I drove all the way down to Tucson, there was like 10 people at the show, and it was like the best experience ever. I was 16 years old. I, um, without my mom knowing, I drove up to Dallas, stayed in a hotel with a bunch of people from different states who I'd never met before in my life. And, uh, I saw them at the House of Blues on August, August something, doesn't it? Um, I guess my first time hearing the band, I was at a flea market, and I was walking through, I think it was in the uh, summer of 06, and there were just, uh, there was this weird song coming from the radio, and I had to find out who it was. I went to a live show, I didn't know what to expect because I didn't talk to anybody, I just kind of went to another concert, and then, what I saw essentially blew me away and had me sucked in for life. Since then I've been to multiple shows and it never gets stale. Was 16 years old and couldn't get into the machine shop because it's 18 and up. So my mom ended up getting me a fake ID and I brought all my fa friends that I knew and which are friends which are fans now. And we got in the machine shop. I saw this crazy band drooling and snotting and spitting everywhere and they were charming young fellows. It was the most exciting show I'd ever seen. Three words to describe Fair to Midland. Revolutionary. Creative. Inspirational. Energetic. Epic. Phenomenal. Solitude. Chaos. And family. 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 Community. Best hair ever. Awesome. Exciting. That shit. Holy shit. Personal. Down to earth. Humble. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> One day people will realize exactly what they're hearing, even if it's not today. Thank you for everything. Like, you've done everything the fans have asked for. You've made Flint your home. Thanks. Like, just definition of awesome in its fullest. Go look it up. Uh, I think what you guys have done uh, is something that no other band has even like touched on. You've created a community strong enough uh, for people all over the world, people who have never met each other, had an oven for you guys. Thanks. Like, you guys made my life a lot better. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I know you guys have been through a lot recently and over the years, and Carrying on after all that, that means a lot to us fans, and I'm um, really happy to be taking part in something like this. You're always the first people to approach your fans and make them feel welcome and wanted to be there at the shows, so, and for that, thank you for the experiences, and yeah, that's it. I love those guys more than anything.